here at the goal, Shea Groom, and Groom fires back of the net. Back to back to back goals for Shea. Yeah, I think every time I'm driving to college station, it feels a little bit like home, but I think I'm always excited to get back there and just see the people that mean so much to me. And also I think it just brings back such good memories with soccer and even things off the field that it just feels like I belong there. Man, baby. Gigging forever, Thomas. <laughs> Gigs. I mean, I try to go back as often as I can. Again, it's like I have family there, and uh, just to be able to go to a place that makes me remember who I really am at my core and, you know, get to visit some of the places on campus. I hadn't done that in a while, honestly. I hadn't seen Kyle Field and seen Ellis Field in a while, obviously, with the pandemic. So it was nice to get back out there and, again, just feel like I'm home. This is it. Let me just, for old time's sake, 100-yard dashed. The 6 a.m. mornings, never forget. This is like... This is why I came to Texas A&M though. You know when the band played? Me and my mom were on my recruiting trip. I was like, this is home. So, big Aggie tradition. Midnight before a football game, the yell leaders come out. The stadium's filled, oh gosh, probably like, I won't say filled, but 40, 50,000 students and I got to stand right there with the microphone and tell all of them about coming to our Final Four game. Honestly, I think when I go back on Kyle Field and I think about before our Elite Eight game, trying to get fans out to the game, I got to be a part of Midnight Yell, which is a huge tradition at A&M, and to hold the microphone and speak like a yell leader was one of the most incredible moments in front of thousands of fans. Um, not many people get the privilege to do that, and it's a really sacred thing in, at a and So to be able to speak to the student body and just represent the soccer program was extremely special. It's like, they set it up like the same every time. It's kind of like a script, but it was like, we're going to beat the ever-living, ever-loving, <laughs> ever Nittany Lion. Lion. Hell. Out, Out of Penn State. State. Hey. <laughs> and you just like talk to all the fans. It's crazy though. I'm just gonna look. I don't know who I want to be next to. Let's see. I think our most recent signee was uh, Alex Caruso right there. Oh yeah, I'm going next yeah. to my man Caruso. NBA chant, that's funny. College, or Challenge Cup champ. Yeah. Challenge Cup MVP. Sign his, oh, okay. I, I think it was just a moment for me to take a deep breath and say, you know, you've accomplished enough to be next to these people and kind of that extra motivation, like you got to keep going. And, you know, when people see this name, they, they know who it is. And, um, you know, so I think it's really cool. And obviously Alex Crusoe, somebody that I went to school with, I had the pleasure of going to school with Johnny Manziel as well. So Mike Evans, um, I had a lot of good guys in my recruiting class and so to be able to watch them go on with their careers has been extremely special. You know, we all, we all kind of grew up together, we were kids, so um, when we started out and now to see everybody kind of doing the same thing is, is really special. That's awesome. I'm all good over here on the wall. Love that. that. Yeah. This is actually called Shaker and Field. Um, we developed it in 2014 when she became a legend. Jump! <gasps> they developed that because only athletes cross it. You can get a ring at college and things like that, but everyone, literally every Aggie has an Aggie ring. Um, and you get to do a ring dunk, which you all saw at the Challenge Cup. <laughs> It's just kind of
kind of representative of obviously the whole school has so much that you can actually see on the ring um, that represents A&M and the history and tradition of it. You get it before you graduate and you get it at this building. You have somebody that's important in your life or who was an Aggie give it to you. My mom gave me mine and it was just such a special moment that we got to share and when you see someone wearing this ring you know that they would do anything, give you the shirt off their back or um, you know connect you with anyone that you needed and it's just a reminder of just the family and I'll wear this till the day that I die you know some people might wear the ring maybe not at other schools but everyone wears their Aggie ring and it just means something, it means something more. And then on the inside, you can get it engraved, and mine has my full name. When you originally get it, you do this because you haven't graduated yet, but when you graduate, you turn it so that when you see people, they know you graduated in 2015. We are walking into the house of Texan and Stalker, which apparently is mine. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like, this was all wasn't here. Yeah, I remember they told me, they were like, there's going to be a six foot Shay in the soccer building. And I was like, okay. Um, I'm not sure I really thought that's what it was going to look like. But obviously, yeah, it's a surreal moment to be kind of ingrained in that legacy. And for them to want me to be kind of the face of that was an incredible thing. And, you know, obviously something I'm honored to be. You know, it was an incredible run that we had and to be kind of etched into the minds of the girls that walk through those doors every day is really special to me and something I don't take lightly. And, you know, my professional career is so that other girls can look up to me and especially girls that went to Texas A&M that they know that it's possible to go to A&M and then become a professional athlete. So um, it's so important to me and to be the face that they see every day, reminding them to work hard is uh, something that I'm always willing to be. <laughs> That's me. I'm crying. Bullet, come here. Who's doing that? <laughs> Who's playing this video? I love that, oh gosh. Fish camp night. That's my, oh, oh this. Oh. <laughs> Remember when the gang got him out? Oh yeah, pull me down, try. Mm. Yeah. This one, SEC. Oh. No. <laughs> I know, I miss it, man. I mean, look how happy I was. I mean, this is where it started for me. And I like still watch this stuff back because like that's still me. Like I haven't lost any of that, but it makes me miss it. And to be able to watch that reel um, is special. And to remember my path, my journey was, you know, a moment for me to reflect and just remember all of the incredible memories and moments that got me to this place now. Crying. Crying again. This place is everything, though. Best memories. I know, Bullet, I'm crying too. <laughs> number six is like another one of my favorite numbers. I was number two for most of my life, but when I got to college, number two was taken, and so Lori Stevenson, assistant coach there, handed me the number six jersey and said, every single person that's ever worn this jersey has been an All-American. Don't break the streak. Didn't break it. So six for life now. So when I came back to Texas, it only seemed right. Like, I gotta be a six. I love to come train on this field because this started here. That feels like my home, so I get on that field and I feel like I instantly like get more competitive than I when I walked uh, was walking up. So, uh, you know, for me, I think the initial emotion is just feeling like this is my home and I have to defend it. And you know, there's so many happy memories on there, and we didn't lose a lot on there. So, usually uh, we're winning if it's at Ellis. So. Um, you know, we've won SEC championships on that field. We played in the Elite Eight and made it to the first Final Four for Texas a soccer on that field. 
Um, I think about the confetti that flies whenever we score a goal there, um, whether it's on a Friday or a Sunday afternoon. Um, you know, the 12th man shows up, and I mean, there's so many incredible memories that I'll have forever when I walk on Ellis. Junior and senior year, it was like, we're winning everything. I don't care what we have to do. I'll do whatever I need to do as a captain to, to make it happen. And regular season champs, tournament champs, did it again in 2014, regular season champs, tournament champs. And then we make it to the NCAA, College Cup. No one thought it was possible. Texas and never did it. Couldn't break that barrier of Elite Eight. And, and we did it on this field. I'll never forget. The like black something's out, but I'll never forget. I jumped up in the stands after the game and saw it off with the with the fans, and I think that's like one of the most special moments. It's just that's what Texas A&M is. It's a family, it's a home, and we do it all together.